Like this year for me, I've, I've looked at every area of my life and I've implemented accountability um, in an actual person that's holding me accountability in all areas. You just have no idea uh, how much power we, we really have. Um, and when we're put in structures where we're held accountable for the things that we want to implement, that we know is the best thing for us, but we understand through self-awareness that we have weaknesses and we have areas that, uh, that we tend to struggle with. And so can we put a structure in place to say, I know I'm not good at this. I know I am lazy when it comes to this area. I get it. I can try to fix it all I want, but that's that's my thing. That's my that's my struggle. Well, what structure can I put in place so that I avoid those struggles? Uh, I just just uh, brought on somebody as an accountability partner uh, to help train with me um, because I'm trying to take my fitness to the next level. Um, and quite frankly, because I knew I needed to start working out in the morning, and this is a good lesson and a transparent lesson for you guys. Like, I am not, I have not been able to get myself to work, to get up in the morning and work out. I don't like the way I feel afterwards. Um, I sweat, my, when my metabolism starts running, I'll sweat for like three hours, and I hate taking a shower and getting out of the shower and being like still sweating. It's just, it's just annoying. Um, but I know that because now I've got a two-year-old daughter and the time after work that I'm able to spend with her and not at the gym is, is priceless. And so I know that I got to knock out my workouts in the morning. But I know myself well enough to know that I need to implement accountability in the areas that I know I need help with. And so um, my primary reason for having this accountability partner was the sole fact that they will be there at 6 a.m. looking at their watch and saying, where's Tyler? Like with my faith, I have a guy that I do a devotion with uh, every two weeks that comes in and he keeps me accountable. Like how are things going over the last two weeks with your, with your faith? And then in my business and like every single area of my life, um, it's implementing that accountability because it's, you're right, it's, it's the only way. And you know, not that you can't be self-motivated. Like if you're self-motivated to do that stuff, like that's awesome. But the whole key of self-awareness is understanding where you need it and then actually applying it. I get it. I can try to fix it all I want, but that's that's my thing. That's my That's my struggle. Well, what structure can I put in place so that I avoid those struggles? Is it delegating it to someone else? Is it tying some type of like, gamification like making it to where it's like a competition or challenge just to get through that thing um, what is it and then who can hold me accountable for that is it a business partner is it a boss is it a spouse is it a friend or is it a coach that you have to hire because true accountability is hard to find in someone that's not um, financially invested in that process uh, because it's it's a lot of effort and energy and these conversations that I'm having with people it's not easy to have nine of them um, you know yesterday nine one hour conversations on this stuff um, but man it's it's important it's powerful and it's uh, making a big impact.